Hello everyone, this is Kid Gravity, one half of the Beyond Borders with Rose Dolan and Kid Gravity podcast. And today, I'm going to give you my commentary on the song that is sweeping the world, sweeping the nation, and unfortunately sweeping up the fairer sex into a new mindset. That's right, folks. Cardi B and Meg Thee Stallion have joined forces to bring the world a brand new anthem called WAP. And it stands for wet ass. You can figure out what the P stands for. And unfortunately for people, some like it, some don't. And now that song has been mired in controversy. So today we will look at the controversy and look at the video. I can't play it here on YouTube because of course it'll get flagged. But we will look at a particular article that I found yesterday on complex.com which outlines why the author believes this video is so empowering for women now this article was curated by Brianna Holt who is a culture writer and editor in my city New York and the line that really stuck out to me is the fact that she said that this 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 lord i'm looking at it right now and i can't even believe she still said this and wrote this she said that it is so important for female empowerment folks did we not hear about a month ago a year ago five years ago ten years ago at the start of second wave feminism that women should no longer be viewed as sex objects and here we go one more again we have a video that should stay in the matrix aka social media and be just consumed for entertainment purposes for about three to four minutes now it's not been viewed for three or four minutes it has taken on its own mindset once again and that's the power of sexuality in the new millennium now quick disclaimer i did not watch this video and i am not going to watch this video because number one i don't care for either artist and number two i don't care for those artists but reading this complex article the fact that one of the lyrics says, I said, certified freak, seven days a week, WAP, make that pullout game weak. Okay, fine. We got to rhyme and do metaphors as rappers because I've done a rap album. So everything that has to rhyme has to rhyme. There was a particular line, though, in this article that got to me where the author once again brianna holt on complex she said gender stereotypes are dismantled in the very first verse as cardi sings i don't cook i don't clean but let me tell you how i got this ring creating no space for the stereotypical submissive stay-at-home wife figure ladies and gentlemen this is why the marriage rates are declining the baby mama rates are rising and the fact that once this election is over and the Pence rule comes in full effect and the dating scene post COVID is going to change dramatically for the next two decades, mindsets like this are why women are going to be single if they don't change. But before I get into that, one other line she came up with also leaves it a little perplexing because she happened to put those two female rappers cardi b and meg the stallion in the same class as trina little kim and kaya um i grew up in that era and yes they were raunchy but i dare say that those two have eclipsed what those three could ever do little kim was out there she was she's the legend with the handprints, I mean, was it no handprints? I'm sorry, I was Sable from the WWE, F, E, whatever you want to call it. 
she had the legendary purple dress with the things on her nipples. Trina liked the twerk. Kaya did my neck, my back. I don't care about a woman displaying her sexuality. That's one of the necessary tools for attraction. We understand this. Here's where the issue is, ladies and gentlemen. The issue is, once again, you take a song that's meant for enjoyment and you have made it a mind state because now you go all over social media, you're seeing hashtag WAP energy. So once again, instead of encouraging a relationship, even though you don't have to, that's just me as a father and a husband, of especially one, a husband of a little girl. When you put out statements like that and you put out mindsets like that, yes, you're trying to get satisfaction and, and edification from others. But in this mind state, like I said, men are starting to change their movements. They're trying to change their image. They're trying to settle down, especially us black men. We see things like this. Why would we take a chance on you? Why would we want to cultivate anything? What's the incentive not to just knock you up, have the kid roll out? And, you know what we've been doing since the 60s. These are the same women, like I said before, who want to not be viewed as anything more than a sex object, but then praise a song that objectifies women as sex objects. You can tell us all you want that this is supposed to be sex positive and that it's a, it's meant to, to show that women can display themselves and people shouldn't have a problem with it. We don't care about that. We see people all the time walking down the street showing their bare skin. Some people are comfortable with it. Some people aren't. You can't change an entire masses mindset. And that's one of the problems we have with our people. We always want to take the majority and push it aside and we take the minority and try to elevate it. And these two chicks are the minority that we've elevated the stripper culture, the aggressive female culture. Cardi B was a stripper. We all know this. She managed to get married and have a baby with a man who has multiple babies and multiple baby mamas. Fine. We've seen that. We've seen that story before. Meg Thee Stallion, they're claiming it used to be a bottle girl. I don't know much about this girl's history. But one thing that did come to light a few weeks ago when she had that whole dust up with Tory Lanez was she bragged about beating men up. I guess due to her her height. I think she's like 5'7", five, 5'8", five, whatever. So it's just funny that our women love to preach about karma and now the karma is coming because I'm looking now online and there's a California legislature, legislate, legislate, ah, what's the word? Jeez, it's early. There's a California legislator that's slamming the video. People on Twitter are going back and forth slamming the video or praising it. They're giving crap to Kylie Jenner for being in the video based on what happened with the, the Meg Thee Stallion piece. I don't care about that. But the fact that this woman, Brianna Holt, put out this video and you have people like Angela Stanton King and Deanna Lorraine Again, this is freedom of speech. Praise those women. I looked at it yesterday. It was at 23 million. It's now almost at 60 million on YouTube. Bless them. Get your money. I could care less. But just realize 
all those people that are following this WAP energy, that energy is not going to last because like energy, energy comes in one form and it always evolves into another one. This is Kid Gravity. Like, share, subscribe to the videos. We will be putting up more content soon. If you go on and check out our podcast, we have four seasons worth of content. We do everything from sports to politics. And we are coming back stronger in September with season five. We have some new shows coming. We have new topics we're going to discuss. And who knows? Maybe if we get big enough, your favorite celebrity like Cardi B or Meg Thee Stallion come on and cuss me out for what I just said. I welcome it. So everybody take care, stay safe out there, and make sure to cough in your elbows. Never in the